Welcome to In the Batter's Box with Charlie Lau Jr. Today you're going to get some tips on hitting from an expert and you too will learn the necessities of what all great hitters have in common. One of the things you're seeing right now with Raul Ibanez is he's picking his front leg up and the reason he's doing that was to get his weight back and now as we see Raul start uh, taking his batting practice, notice how fluid he is, he's not swinging too hard, he's working on moving the ball around the whole field. Uh, the other thing you want to notice is, notice where Raul's hands start. He goes from what we call point A to point B, which is a direct path to the ball. And also, uh, the important thing is, when you take a pitch, you should perform every act of the swing. You should actually be going to the baseball, making all the, the, the moves that you would if you had uh, swung at that pitch, and the thing that you do is you stop, uh, with the barrel, you stop. Well, you stop with your hands, which which stops the barrel. So that's one of the things. Uh, Raul, now, if you if you look at him after he's taken a certain many, a certain after Raul's taken some swings, a few swings, you see him start getting better. That was a pitch that he took where he wasn't ready to hit. You didn't see the body, uh, the body movements uh, performing as he was making his approach to the baseball. Um, I think it's very important and, and also universal for all good hitters. If you look uh, at the swing, he's getting really, really good extension. And you'll start seeing him start. You'll see, well, there's a, a pitch that he took he wasn't ready to hit. So all you little leaguers out there, and I'm, I'm giving Raul a hard time. I'm giving Raul a hard time right now because I'm trying to get him to show up for every pitch. And that's a terminology that I like to use. So. Again, when you're going to take a pitch, I'm going to go ahead and show you that your body and your hand should be going to the ball until you decide it's not a strike. So if you're not in that position, you're not having, you don't have an opportunity to hit the baseball. So you weren't ready to hit the ball. So uh, anyway, uh, congratulations to Raul last year for hitting some really, really big home runs in, uh, in the playoffs to keep the Yankees alive. And uh, nobody else knew how to hit any home runs with the Yankees during the playoffs. So again, um, you know, all your good habits that are formed, they happen in the batting cage, they happen off a of batting tee. So the next time you go out to see a major league game and you have the opportunity to watch batting practice, notice how the players are nice and relaxed and their swings, they're not trying to swing too hard. Thanks for joining us today on Inside the Batter's Box with Charlie Loud Jr. Hopefully you got some great tips and you learned a lot from this, this session that we did together. And you can apply all of the things that you learned today to become the best hitter that you can. Sweet swings.